John Watts with Watts Digital Imaging and I teach Photoshop and high-end digital printing to photographers. This is the video that accompanies the article HDR. We don't need no stinking HDR hassles. And uh, I'm going to quickly go through the procedure that's listed on that in that article uh, and show you how to take advantage of an increased dynamic range. I want to show you a quick diagram here that I've uh, put together uh, to give you an idea of what it is we're doing. And you can see that we're taking three raw files, two stops under, a normal exposure, and two stops over, and we're combining them, merging them, in Adobe Camera Raw, not in a uh, 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 HDR program. And we're going to work on them in Adobe Camera Raw, so you can take advantage of the strengths of Adobe Camera Raw. Once we bring it out of Adobe Camera Raw, this is what it looks like on the bottom left-hand side, and then we clean it up a little bit in, in Photoshop and tweak it, and that's what we do over here on the right-hand side. That's our master, master file. Now you can see, just even either one of the exposures at the bottom, either one of the images at the bottom, they look so much better than the so-called normal exposure. So all we're really doing is is, is opening up our shadow detail uh, quite a bit. We're also uh, adding quite a bit more punch to the sky and to the colors on the mountains in the background. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to go to a file menu and this again is uh, right from the uh, outline in the article automate merged HDR Pro. At that point I'm going to pick three images pardon me, three raw files. One, two, three and those are the three that I want to merge. We want to make sure that we have this box down here checked, attempt to automatically align source images, and click OK. At this point, in automa the automation, some automation is going to begin, and it may take uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, uh, depending on the, your computer speed. So after the automation is done, this Merge to HD HDR Pro dialog box opens. We want to check Remove Ghosts right up here. We want to make sure it's in 32-bit. And uh, the box Complete Toning in Adobe's Camera Raw is checked. Once we do that, we can hit Tone in ACR. Before I do that, let me just show you across the bottom. It also will show you the images that you're merging. You notice at the bottom that they have uh, an exposure value. So this is our normal exposure, supposedly. Well, it is, actually. Uh, this is our uh, uh, underexposed, and it shows it's two stops underexposed. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit Tone in e ACR. And another automation cycle begins. This one can take anywhere from 45 seconds to, oh, a minute and a half or so, to, again, depending on your computer speed. After it goes through this next bit of automation, your 32-bit file is now open in Adobe Camera Raw. At that point, you're going to make all your necessary RAW adjustments. One of the things you need to note is that once you've made your adjustments, normally when you're working in Adobe Camera Raw, and you hit OK or, or open in Photoshop, it will create, generate a .xmp file and save it for you. It will not do that in this method, so one of the very first things you do before you hit OK in the bottom right is to go to the tab on the extreme right hand side up here. This is the preset tab. And under the preset tab, go to the options right there, click on that and put save settings and just click save. When you do, you're going to need to create a unique name that will represent this particular image. Now, I've already done the work on this, so I'm going to actually load the settings. And if you want to open these images in the same method and you've already done some work, the same thing's going to happen. I happen to call this HDR1 as a .xmp file. When I do, it will load all those settings that I've already wanted uh, done to this image into it, uh, into this file. Those, those that know how to work with raw files the, with my method know that the goal is to bring your final raw image into Photoshop slightly oversaturated, which this is in color, slightly lower flat in contrast, which this image is also, and slightly underexposed. So now that we've got that, we can bring it into Photoshop. Again, it's going to go through uh, some more automation. That's it. Once we do that, there's our file. But let, let me show you a couple things here. The first is this is still a 32-bit file. And we really can't work with 32-bit files, but we can work with 16-bit files. So the first thing we want to do is go to Layer Menu, Flatten Image. Then we're going to go to Image, Mode, 16-bit. Now when you do, you're going to get this HDR toning um, uh, dialog box. All you need to do is go to the method 
and click it on exposure gamma and leave the values alone and click OK. Now you have a 16-bit image that you can bring in and, and work in Photoshop and work and create your master file. Hope that helps. If you got any questions, by all means, email me or visit my website. I have a book, a Photoshop book that you might find interesting also, of which uh, how to work with raw files is a major portion of it. Thanks a lot. God bless.